Today I'll show you how you can digitally scrapbook right inside of your tablet, iPad, or even phone. I will link everything I use in this video in the description, so make sure to check it out if you have any questions. Scrapbooking is a really cool way to preserve your memories and do something fun if you're bored. It's even easier to do it digitally because you don't actually have to buy any supplies, you can find everything online basically. Today I'll be scrapbooking a trip to Croatia that I had back in 2020. I haven't done a lot of travel since then, so I just thought I would use this trip as an example. Today I'll be using my iPad plus GoodNotes and I've also created this little scrapbooking uh, notebook that you can download for free, I'll link it below. To get started, I'm going to jump into Safari and I'm going to find a map of the island that I want to. And I'm going to just basically screenshot this and I will import it into Procreate where I will try to create a paper rip, a rip paper effect. The screenshot is in my gallery so I'm just going to open the photo. I found this wedge tail brush that I thought looked pretty cool so I'm going to use it as an eraser and I'm going to erase some of the edges of this photo. It doesn't have to be perfect and we can always fix it later or clean it up. You also want to make sure that this photo is on a separate layer because you will want to disable the background before you save it to your, to your gallery to make sure that the background will be transparent. Let's share it as a PNG and then we can import it into GoodNotes. Now I'm going to add the map and I will try to crop it into two pieces so that each piece can be on each of the pages. My estimation was a bit off but it's still not a big deal, we can make it work. I'll be adding photos to this map and I want the photos to have a paper background and I have stickers for this so I'm going to find them and I will choose what I want, select it and then drag it over. Now for the fun part, I get to decide where I want to place the photos and this is going to determine the general layout of the entire spread. I'm going to insert a photo on top of the paper just to see how it looks. Let's go ahead and repeat the process for the rest of the images. What's left is for me to figure out where I want to have some writing space. So I'm going to pull up the split screen again and I'm going to choose a different piece of paper to insert into the scrapbook. I also want to add some washi tape on top of it just to make it look more realistic. Thank you. 
I love how it looks but I still want to add a little bit more on top and these washies can be layered just like in real life so let's go ahead and do that. To make everything come together, let's go ahead and add some stickers. I'm using a digital scrapbooking kit that has a different uh, sticker set for each of the months and I'm going to go ahead and use the July stickers for this spread. And finally, let's go in with a black pen and what's left is to add some doodles, add the dates to the photos and anything else you want. I'm just connecting the locations on the map with the photos. Now I'm going back into my gallery and I'm checking when I took each of the photos and I'll just add the date under it. Now I'm switching the pen to the brush pen and I'm going to add some text on top of the paper. And there we go, all done. I hope I've convinced you to give digital scrapbooking a try and I hope you like this video. I will see you next week. Bye!